Hello, welcome to another episode of Halftime TV viewers and subscribers. And today we'll be going through the Reggae Boys versus the U.S. Men's National Team, the Nations League semifinal, which is scheduled to take place tomorrow over there in Texas. And this is in the United States, of course. Now, there have been some development since the announcement of the respective squads and more so coming from the Jamaica side. Uh, I think it will be a challenging game for, for Coach Holgrimson. And I think if he if he comes through this one victorious, uh, we have to give him all the plaudits and we have to throw all the necessary support behind him. I know there are some fans who are still on the fence about Co Coach Holgrimson, but I tell you, if he gets past the United States with, this, with the current squad at his disposal, I, I definitely think then we should be doing far more than we are doing I, I think all the cause for him to be to be um replaced because of what he did with leon bailey um those should be thrown out the door but big shout out to everyone who's tuning into halftime tv later on today we'll be doing the, the champs live stream but for now we're doing the preview for the reggae boys game against the united states big shout out to the sponsors as well quickling shipping anything you need shipped into the island quickling shipping has you covered and RS Sports Store for all your latest sporting clothing and apparel. Okay, all right. So I, I think that's that's enough of that. What I'll do now, I'll run through the Jamaica squad. I'll go through the U.S. squad as well, and then I'll give you a little bit of comparisons, and then probably I'll do my predicted um, eleven to start that game. So for the goalkeepers for Jamaica, we have. Andre Blake, Shaquan Davis, Jamali Witt. Shaquan Davis uh, getting his debut call-up, his first call-up. And again, he's been doing well in the local Premier League. Defenders, Richard King, Damian Lowe, Deshaun Bernard, Michael Hector, Dexter Lembekisa, Tavon Gray, and Greg Lee. Um, I think from the defensive standpoint, um, Ethan Pinnock is the, is the obvious omission. He, he's not in this one. We don't have um Javain brown either who was a part of the last squad that played against canada All right so in midfield we have daniel johnson joel latibodier bobby d cordova reed uh Roy anderson casey palmer and ronaldo cephas not so bad not bad at midfield uh for forwards and this is what was announced okay so i'll let you know what was announced and then we will make our, our little cuts to it so for forwards, we have Corey Burke, Bailey um, Kadamartri. We have Demari Gray, Shamar Nichols, uh, Mikel Antonio, Jamal Lowe, and Kahim Dixon. All right. Now, since that announcement was made, there have been updates to this list. All right. So what do I mean? Bailey Kadamartri posted a picture yesterday. He is officially in England camp. He uh, posted a picture wearing the England shorts, etc. So he had he had originally received call-ups from both jamaica and england england under 19 that is so he's currently with the england under 19 setup uh demari gray received a red card in that game against canada is not eligible to play this game against the united states demari gray received uh, shamar nicholson sorry received a yellow card in that game against canada so um which means he's carded out for that game against the united states michael antonio and this is the, the big development because Mikel Antonio, as announced by the West Ham website, has withdrawn from the national team camp. So he's withdrawn from, the, from, this, um, from this period of games. He, he won't be available for a selection um, by the Jamaican national coach, Hall Grimson. What does that mean now for the, the reggae boys? Romario Williams, who currently plays in Hartford in the USL, recently made the move to Hartford, um, already on the score sheet as well this season in, in the USL. I think Hartford played two games, or, or I think they played two games. He scored in the first game, uh, albeit from the penalty spot. But Romario Williams, who was a part of that squad that played against Canada, he was recalled amidst the, the thinning of the forward line for the national team. So Romario Williams will be coming in. Mikel Antonio will not be available for a selection. And I repeat, Mikel Antonio has withdrawn from the national team camp to face the United States. Okay, so uh, I think 
and and now down to the options that we have in forward the renewed list for the forwards available and and this is who is available to play on thursday folks we have corey burke we have jamal Lowe, kahim dixon and we have romario williams so uh those four are available for a selection come thursday at least as of now because as you've seen there there have been a, a number of developments as the days go by so hopefully the, the, those four will be available and as we we mentioned with with um as we mentioned during the interview with rudolph speed a little bit earlier on um this week was it this week or was it last week i don't even remember i think it was yeah i think it was sunday night um he said if a player withdraws from the squad um that is not grounds to 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 add a, 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 another player to the squad so uh, they must have been able to provide um a, an explanation to conquer CAF as to why they need to select an alternate player leon bailey we know he he's suspended so he's not um available for this round of fixtures uh, bailey kadamarch as i said opted to play for england under 19. shamar nicholson carded out demari gray carded out um and now we have the addition of Mikel Antonio who withdrew from the the national team so what does that mean now uh for the team going forward will the coach be playing Bobby Reed a little bit further forward or will he be playing a front three of um Corey Burke Jamal Lowe and um yeah I, I think Corey Burke Jamal Lowe and uh Ronaldo Cephas or or bobby reed i think that's how he will go but um i don't think he will be given kahim dixon a start I, I think this coach banks on experience a whole lot and i i think if if kahim dixon is given an opportunity it'll be in the latter stages now a, a bit of comparison because again leon bailey has been jamaica's farm player going into this round christian pulisic is usa's farm player so Comparatively, both players, Leon Billy, 38 games, 11 goals, 11 assists. Christian Pulisic, 37 games, 10 goals, 7 assists for AC Milan. Um, but the United States will have their talisman. Jamaica won't have theirs. It's important to note as well that... <laughs> it's important to note as well that um, Anthony Robinson plays for, for Fulham, has already racked up six assists this season. And this is, he doesn't take set plays, so he's not taking the free kicks or the corners. And we know a lot of fullbacks, they're on corner duty or they take the free kicks. And as such, their, um, their assist, it, it goes up. So, Anthony Robinson from Open Play has had six assists this season. And I think the reggae boys, especially the fullbacks, uh, Lemby Kisa and Greg Lee, they need to pay close attention to him. He's extremely fit and he can be extremely lethal in the final third the u.s men's national team um this squad and i'll go through the list we have drake calendar from inter miami ethan norvath uh, horvath sorry from cardiff matt turner nottingham forest defenders sergina des um christoph lund um mark mckenzie we have tim ream from fulham chris richards from crystal palace anthony robinson the man we just spoke about um miles robinson from fc cincinnati joe scally from borussia uh, munchen gladbag we have midfielders tyler adams from bournemouth we have johnny cardoso real betis uh luca della torre celta vigo western mckinney you Yunus musa um gio reina then we have for forwards uh Fallerin balogun um we have malik tillman ricardo pepe christian pulisic josh Sargent, and tim weir uh, i think based on the, the caliber clubs that these players play for one can assume that they they will be posing a serious threat to the jamaican team um especially in the, in, in the midfield area of the park for the forwards uh, i think christian pulisic will definitely be be handed um a starting role balogun as well um from monaco and again tim Weir from from juventus i think is always that sort of player who gives you 100 percent on the park so he leaves it all out there um he plays with his heart on his sleeve and i don't expect anything less especially in front of a home crowd down there in austin but again 
two big teams going up against each other. Tactical manager on his YouTube channel said USA were given an easy fixture. Um, I think Jamaica thrives when we are considered the underdog. And I think going into this game, as is always the case when we play against the United States, especially since most of the games are played on U.S. soil, um, especially when it comes down to Nations League or the Copa, um, or not sorry, not the Copa, the Gold Cup. Sorry, um, we're always the underdog, so we don't mind. We don't mind being not, or we don't mind not being the favorite because then it it, it kind of reduces the expectation from the U.S. team and the U.S. fans, and then we get to strike them when they least expect it as we saw with the Canadian game. But I'm curious to hear what you, the viewers and subscribers, have to say. What do you think are Jamaica's chances going into this game against the United States? The game will, will take place tomorrow, um, Thursday. It's a semi-final of the Nation, Nations League. Uh, Leon Bailey suspended for this round. Bailey Kadamarchi opted to play for the, um, the, United, uh, the England under-19 team. Antonio, Mikel Antonio, and that's big news coming out of this episode. Mikel Antonio has withdrawn from this um, camp. So we withdraw, won't be available for selection. So at Jamaica's disposal, we now have Corey Burke, Romario Williams, who was who received a late call. Uh, we have uh, Kahim Dixon. Uh, and uh, that's just about it. So Kahim Dixon, Romario Williams. Um, we have Corey Burke. Uh, and those are the names we have for select. I think there was one more, right? Eh? I think there was one more. Hold on, let me confirm. Yeah, Jamal Lowe. Jamal Lowe. Don't forget, Jamal Lowe uh, doing extremely well with Swansea. Scored uh, an immaculate goal last time out for Swansea as well. So, again, let's hear what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? What do you think of Jamaica's chances going into this game? Uh, and leave your score predictions as well down in the comment section. Remember... Smash the like button, subscribe to Halftime TV if you're new to the channel, and look out for our Champs coverage a little bit later on today. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Peace out.